Okay, here we are for the, the next portion of the video. This is uh, um, uh, for if your, your pull cleaner is just going to a corner, no matter how many times you pull it away with its hose, it just keeps going to a corner and staying there. Well, this one is a pretty simple problem, uh, but before we go into this, rem remember if, uh, or if you've seen the other videos, if you haven't, then uh, you need to refer back to the tear down video, how to tear this down. Once you get it down to this, then you'll, you'll, you'll know where you're at. Or if you're already an, an expert at this and you can tear it down, you just want to know which components are possibly going to be the failure then you just keep on going on. But I would recommend if you have not figured out how to tear this down, watch the tear down video. All these, uh, all these uh, pull vacs are pretty, very, very much similar because they're all made by Hayward and they're all a little bit different, some of them here and there, but the idea of getting them apart and what works inside of them is pretty much the same. So anyway, let's move on. If you need to go back to the tear down video, then come back to this and then you can, you can uh, diagnose this problem where this is the video that, uh, uh, where it, goes to a corner and stays there, goes to a corner and stays there, okay? So no matter what you do, pulling that hose, no matter how many times, it, it may have made one or two turns possibly, then goes right to a corner. This is the main culprit of what you're going to be looking at here is these items that I am going to show you. All right, this is the bottom uh, or midsection portion uh, where the turbine is, and this is called a gearbox this gearbox right here okay see how I took it out make sure when you put it back together that the red part is closest to the back part okay so the red part is closest to the back part now this is this all controls how water flows within the unit which goes up into here and then actually goes into here afterwards and controls right or left motion okay it's, it's a pretty complicated little design there how it works but it works quite well all right, now to check out, to make sure that it, uh, the gearbox is okay, you look at this hole right here and you take your mouth and you blow on it. I hope I caught that in the video where you see this actually turning. That means the gearbox is good, okay? For this second here, uh, I'm going to move this over here and I'm going to move this over here so you can watch me tear down the gearbox. Now the gearbox first has its red cap, we'll put that there. Then it has a very clear white washer, you're going to put that there, okay? Then you're going to take off the gearbox top, there, okay? Put that down. Then you're going to start taking the gears out and you can go left to right or right to left. Just remember the order that you take these things out, okay? One, well, first inspect. Always look for hair, hair and debris. That's what will cause these. If, if you blew into this and it did not whistle like that, that's why you're tearing this apart because something is stuck here and it's not causing this to function. This is the most, or, or I would say the biggest culprit of the problem when your pull vac is, is not doing its cycle. Right turn, left turn, going around. It's just going straight into a corner. I would go right for this gearbox here. This gearbox is going to tell all. Now you inspect there. I found hair in here. I found pieces of, uh, of uh, what do you call it, a weed whacker, uh, pieces of wood, uh, pieces of grass, you name it. So you have to look at these pieces very well because you need to see if there's something stuck on them. Okay? Sometimes they stick together because the, the water itself keeps them stuck. And take them out in order as usual. Okay and inspect them when you get them out. Look for hair. Just one piece of hair can mess these things up. No joke. Okay, there we go. We're getting down to almost the last one here. Okay, nothing there. Looking all good. And then finally, that's the piece that makes the, uh, the whir noise you heard. You'll take that out. You'll look it over. You'll make sure the gear, gear is all good. Also check your gears. Make sure your gears are all good. These things usually last a good long time. Uh, everything wears out. You always have to check them. If this is four or five years old, yeah, I'd be checking it out, making sure it's good to go. Then we put it back together. One on the back, one on the front. One on the back, one on the front. Kind of wiggle them together, make sure they're down together. One on the front, one on the back. Okay, there we go. And one on the front. Okay, and that one, that one should be. Uh, this last, this should be the last piece here, the one with the square end. Okay, 
Now, to make sure that they're all sitting right and in their right position, you just do the wind blow test again. That's a good way to test it before you put it all back together and go, it still doesn't work. Okay, so then you put this back on. It does a light snap. It's not a real hard, crisp snap. It's just a light snap. This thing uh, just kind of kind of holds itself together. And then you put that back together, okay? And put it in here. And let's say you've gotten to this point here where you say, this is good. I blew into it, it's good, there's nothing stuck to it, there must be something else wrong. Well, you're probably right, okay? As we saw in the teardown video, and if you didn't know, we tore down this assembly right here, the turbine and the other gear that's in here. The gear right here and the turbine, okay? Of course, they, uh, they go back in. As such, they have to go back in upside down, pull it apart. Boom, you'll look in there, you'll see if this, this, these teeth here are torn up any, in any way. Okay, it's pretty rare, but it can happen. And see if these teeth are torn up in any way. Okay, and you know, it's pretty rare, but it can happen. But the biggest culprit is, not this cone, this cone like lasts forever, this piece of plastic. But these gears, this gear and that gear right here wear out very quickly. Let me bring it up here. This gear and this gear wear out very quickly. And they can cause you the uh, problem of going right into a wall. All right. Another one was uh, when I had to replace these, I would recommend changing. See this red piece inside here? When you pull this off and pull this cone off, there's going to be a bushing here. It's a red bushing. You've got to make sure you get the right type for vinyl or for concrete type pool cleaner. Okay. Once you find the right one for there, I would replace this also if you're replacing these tubes because this has probably got wear and tear also because this is where this cone rubs against. Okay. And as you can see, it's getting a little bit of wobbly. It's not there yet. This is only a year old, so, you know, it's, it's working pretty good. If it can go back and forth without skipping or binding, it's in good shape, okay? Same thing if this is connected and it's still functioning correctly and not grinding or chipping or banging, you're good to go. But these are the main culprits of what is going to affect you to go into a timeout situation. Your, your, your vacuum goes to a corner and just sits there. Sits there, sits there, sits there. Doesn't go right, doesn't go left, just sits there. Sits there. You pull the hose back, it may go left a little, right a little, and boom, right back in the corner again. That's when you need to start diagnosing the situation. Gearbox first. Then you go after the internals later and check those out. But typically it's these two gears and that bushing need to be replaced if it's not that, okay? So, and especially after you, if you do find hair or debris in this one, clean it out and it still does the same thing. Well, you need to tear it apart again, I hate to say, and it's, you're probably gonna be going after these three pieces, okay? So that's uh, pretty much it in a nutshell. And uh, I thank you for watching.